Naru. Please, Netflix, stop acting like this. Oh, so she found him. Um, let's wait and see. You said you wouldn't do any more bad things. Please don't break that promise. Naru, fall back. That's Nephlight of the Dark Kingdom. The evil never left his heart. You're wrong. Nephlight isn't like that. He's not like that. Naru. <laughs> okay, um... Counter. So pretty... Will you ever learn? Stop it, Nephilim. Can't you hear Naru's voice? I have no memories of that young girl. No way. You... You'll regret that. Supreme... Too slow. Starlight attack! Yeah. No oh, bark and no bite. He's, he's strong. He's definitely one of the four heavenly kings. What's wrong, sailor soldier? You'll never defeat me without attacking. This is bad. At this rate, I could die. And yet... Hmm. And so you choose death. Fine by me. There has to be a way. Uh, hmm, let's find an opening. His guard is flawless. What a monster. Nephilim, listen to me. You have to reclaim your human heart. Look at her. Don't let Naru cry like this. Hmm, don't make me laugh. Why would I care about one measly human girl? Huh. You! You! You stubborn idiot! My guardian Jupiter, brew a storm, call the clouds, bring down the lightning. Supreme Thunder Dragon! Not bad. My turn now. It's over. Stop it! Naru! Move it, girl, you're in the way. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here, you're going to get hurt. No, I'll be fine. Naru. Please stop, Nafrite. Don't act like this. It's too dangerous, Naru. Get out of here. I beg you, Nephilim. Naru. Naru. <laughs> you're persistent, girl. In that case, you're going to die first. Starlight attack! Naru! Don't! I'm, I'm going to protect Naru. Umino. And who are you supposed to be now? I won't... I won't let you lay one finger on Naru! Love... Is it... You're in love with that girl. <laughs> and yet it seems that girl has feelings for me. I don't... I don't care about that. I... I still love Naru. Umino. Non-requited love. How quaint. Then you can all die together. Don't do it, Nephilite! Umino. No, stop it! No, stop it! Don't die, Umino! Stop it! Nephlite, I'll never forgive you! 
You... My task is complete. Do as you wish. Was that... an act? Why were you pretending like you didn't remember? You like Naru, don't you? And she likes you back, so... I may have been revived, but I won't live much longer. Why? Past wise men brought us all back. The others are all bound by their thirst for revenge. I'm the only exception. Is it because... Yes. My memories of her. When they found out, they tried to brainwash me. But they couldn't erase my feelings for her. So I waited for an opportunity and made my escape. And that's how you reach Naru. All that is let... All that... All that to let us know of the Dark Kingdom's return. When they brought me back, I was subject to further brainwashing. On a stronger level than before. But you managed to hold on to yourself. Yes, though barely. I had to pretend their new attempt was successful. To be frank, I didn't have the strength to make another escape. I see. <laughs> Alas, my body has reached its limit after all that acting. Sailor Soldier, had you come a little sooner, I wouldn't have needed to put on this little performance. Why did you have to go so far? I was curious about that boy. I knew he was following us. I wanted to know, was he willing to risk his life for her? But why? Is it because you were worried about Naru? In the past, I've used her for my own goals. I've broken my promise. I made her cry. As I was enduring my brainwashing, all I could think of was her tearful face. Nephilim. I don't want her to be sad anymore. I had to get a little rough, but now I'm sure of it. That boy will treat her well. This isn't fair. What do you mean? This isn't fair to you. To me? I told you I'm reaching the end. I'd only bring her pain. And you're just fine with it? I know you still love Naru. Yes, I'm fine with it. My only wish is for her to be happy. Nephilim. Girls, we've got trouble. Queen Beryl has captured Sailor Moon. Huh? That idiot. Hold on a second. I knew it. Sailor Moon's communicator is still sending its signal. We just need to follow it. You can leave those two to me. You must save your princess. Thank you, Nephilite. One more thing. Yes? The monuments no longer have any importance. It's past Wiseman you need to worry about. He holds the key. Tokyo will never be freed from this curse unless he's defeated. Where is past wise man? Right there. He seeks to resurrect Death Phantom. He'll probably show up where Sailor Moon has been captured. Got it. I'll tell the others. Sailor Jupiter, Queen Beryl, as well as my former comrades. They've all been manipulated by past wise men. It's possible that others, like me, have reclaimed their memories from our past lives. From the time when the moon and the earth lived together in harmony. When we were resurrected. Yeah? It's possible I'd like to save their souls. So that we can all rest in peace together. We'll do it. 
As long as Sailor Moon holds the Silver Crystal, we can do it. Thank you. Now go. Sailor Moon is... crying. The cheeks of our princess are wet with tears. Princess. No, Usagi. Oh my. Are you afraid of death, princess? Worry not. Your end is nigh. Die. You. Get your dirty hands off our princess. We are the four guardian soldiers tasked with protecting Princess Serenity. Sparkling wide pressure! I think I'll just let them say their own attacks. Is this possible? How could I be defeated again? Past wise man, you're next. Nothing to say though. Say something. Useless. This is all useless. This evil energy is immense. The bloody obol gives me absolute control over all spirits. No matter how much you struggle, you are utterly powerless before me. And we can see they're all getting resurrected again. Very painfully, apparently. What the? They are unable to rest in peace. Every time they die, they will come back to life. Suffering pain most excruciating. That's so cruel. You have not yet fulfilled your pact. You must eliminate the Sailor Soldiers and bring me the illusionary Silver Crystal. As you command. Stop it! Please, stop it! Why must we fight like this? Sailor Moon. Are you pitying me, Princess Serenity? You loathsome, detestable girl. Then allow me to take your life. I shall be your opponent. Fighting me this time. Bring it on. Get out. Of my way. Stop it. I'm begging you, please stop it. Sailor Moon, girls, you have to retreat. Come here. That's easier said than done. We need a distraction. And there you go. This is where I come in. Tuxedo Mask. Take care of Sailor Moon. Mm, yes, sir. Tuxedo mask. No, it's too dangerous. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Tuxedo mask. Tuxedo mask. No, I'm staying too. I swear upon this rose, I shall never yield to evil. Trust me, Sailor Moon. Sailor soldiers, there's no more time. 
Protect your princess. Tuxedo mask. Sailor soldiers. Nephilite. We need to deal with Queen Beryl and the others before you can reach that monster. But as long as he holds the bloody opal, we can never defeat them for good. Black Crystal. My spawn. Answer my call. Come to me and lend me your power once more. That's... Yes, the black crystal you once shattered. However, shattering it is not enough to dissipate its energy. Hold on, what are you going to use it for? Um, let's talk to Nephilite. Go on, Nephilite. Jupiter? I trust him as much as Naru did. Please, Nephilite. Mamo. Tuxedo Mask. The people of Tokyo. Even Queen Beryl and her subordinates. Save them all. Sailor Moon? No, Luna. I'm... I'm no good. Everything was supposed to end back then, when I released the power of the Silver Crystal. But I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't strong enough. Because of me, they were forced to roam the dark world of death. They were able to reincarnate. We were able to reincarnate, but they weren't so lucky. If only I had been stronger. You're so kind. I cannot even begin to measure the power of love I sense within you. However, it's up to you to free them all, including me, from past Wiseman's curse. I can only provide some assistance. The Black Crystal is molded after the evil Black Crystal. It was created here on Earth. The evil Black Crystal? What's that? It's apparently related to what has summoned past Wiseman but I don't know the details. At any rate, while its destructive power pales in comparison to the evil black crystal, it can also be used for good, like the silver crystal. Now go, sailor soldiers. Leave Beryl and the others to me. The only ones who can defeat past Wiseman are you. Thank you, Nephi. Girls, please go on ahead. I'll catch up later. Alright, we'll wait for you. Let's go, everyone. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Does your body hurt? Hmm. You've inflicted most of these injuries, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I did, didn't I? Sorry about that. Shouldn't you be joining your comrades? I... I don't know anything about what you did before I met you. But there's one thing I know. Why Usagi and why Naru were so willing to trust you. That's all. Sailor Jupiter. You're a good man. Strong, kind. You're just like him. Oh, just like who? Him? The one I was in love with. <laughs> the energy of love has charged you with renewed power. Black Crystal. Free us from our curse. Guide us back to our master, Prince Edamon. You're providing me quite entertaining, Edamon. 
You foolish, foolish man. I'm surprised you chose me over the Moon Princess. This is the end. This battle must end. Prince, we're sick of doing their bidding. We cannot stand the methods of the Moon Kingdom. They're watching us, acting as if they ruled us. We must take action, Prince. We should be the ones ruling over the Moon Kingdom. Why do you wish to oppose them now? What brought the idea upon you? It was Beryl, wasn't it? Beryl, and that man she summoned. Don't you get it? They're using us for their own gain. Hedimon! Serenity! <laughs> She's dead. The Moon Princess is dead. No, this is wrong. What we really wanted was... Ah! What are these? Are they memories from our past lives? This can't be. I see, we... We reincarnated in order to look for our master, Prince Edemon. But as we lost our memories, we once again danced in the palm of his hand. We lost our purpose and became demons. Something's off with Kuzunai. I'm never going to pronounce that right name right. Kuzite and the others. This is it. This is what Nephrite was talking about. He made them recover their old memories. They were once the bodyguard of Prince Edimon of the Earth Kingdom. They were deceived by a demon and caused a great tragedy. They regretted their actions, but there was nothing they could do to atone. And even as they reincarnated in our modern times, I remember now. I remember everything. Our one and only master is the Prince of the Earth Kingdom, Prince Edimon. What? What is happening? Impossible. Have they broken free of my spell? Tuxedo Mask. Thank goodness we made it in time. Is this the Black Crystal? Hurry, Prince Edemon. You must destroy the Bloody Opal, past wise men. We will seal Beryl. The combined power of the Black Crystal, the Silver Crystal, the Sailor Soldiers, and ourselves. Only two people can't handle it all. And those two people are you, Prince, and Princess Serenity. Now, Master. Men. Only I, the Prince of the Earth Kingdom, can control the power of the Black Crystal. Come, Sailor Moon, Sailor Soldiers. We must give it everything we have to destroy the Bloody Opal and defeat past wise men once and for all. Okay. Impossible. This can't be happening.
Is there no way you can return to your former selves? Master, I'm glad we were able to see you once more. Now we no longer have any regrets in this era. I hope you can forgive us for the way we acted. May the two of you live in happiness. What are you looking at? Just finish me off already. Without that gem, I won't be able to come back to life again. There's no better place for me than the world of the dead. What are you waiting for? Stop it! Why would you say something so sad? Isn't this enough? Let's forget about the past. About all this fighting. I know. How about we become friends? After all, we're the same. We both love the same man. How dare you! I don't want to be friends! You know who I am. I am the ruler of the Dark Kingdom. Queen! Queen Beryl! I have no idea where you get that kindness from. You are always like that. I was always afraid of that kindness. I was afraid what would happen if Edamon were to witness that kindness. I was afraid that I'd forgive you if I were to stay by your side. Afraid. Queen Beryl? Queen Beryl! Oh, Silver Crystal, hear my wish. Let these people reincarnate like us. Let them live in a peaceful world, free from strife. Sorry, were you waiting long, Naru? You're a late Usagi, what were you doing? Sorry, sorry. I got caught by Haruna, you know. Well, you'll be carrying the flowers then. Uh, why do I have to bring flowers to Umino? I'm just kidding. You are? But we're splitting the course. I'm almost out of pocket money for this month. No buts. I'll get mad if you don't pay up. Hey, wait up, Naru! Why do I have to visit Umino too? Anyway... Well, I, um... This is the first time I've been to his house, and... Oh, because you feel helpless without me, huh? Are you sure, though? I won't get in the way? Oh, sweet Naru. You came to see me, I'm so happy. Oh, dear Umino, of course I'd come. Between two lovers, no words are needed. As they gaze into each other's eyes, Umino and Naru. Cut it out, Usagi! What's that supposed to be? I told you there's nothing between me and Umino. No, I'm glad to see she's doing well. In the end, we never did figure out who or what Death Phantom really was. At any rate, the battle against the Dark Kingdom is truly over. Now Queen Beryl, Nephilite, and everyone else will be able to live their lives free from conflict. I hope so, too. I guess Usagi really is the princess. What brings this on, Artemis? Well, it's just that, even though Queen Beryl was her sworn enemy, she still felt sad for her. You wouldn't think that little bodies of her could hide so much love energy. Naru, ah, oh, my lovely Naru. Oh, Saki. Are you sure about that? Well, what matters is Naru and Numio are getting along well now. Like the saying goes, after a storm comes a clam. Hinako. Did I get that wrong? I got it wrong. <laughs> no, it's correct. That's two times I got it wrong. My dear Umino, no. We can't kiss yet. We're still in middle school. Naru tries to hold him back. But her maiden arms cannot stop a virile young man. Usagi, will you cut it out already? 
Oh, Fernaru, you are my son. Hold it. How passionate. Usagi. All right, well, so there we have it. That was the Shoujo Senshi Sailor Moon for the PC Engine, or the TurboGrafx-16. And we just finished uh, Sailor Jupiter's Path. Um, you know, the first half of it was pretty different, getting to see everything from her perspective. But the last half was kind of what we already went through. Although we did get to see her fight Nephlight and exactly how that went through. This also went a little longer than I expected. I might have to chop this up into two parts. I already gave most of my thoughts in the first time through, so I don't really have a lot to say now. I'm grateful that the uh, translators were able to translate this for us, and us old Sailor Moon fans and new Sailor Moon fans were able to get to see this. And I'm kind of enjoying the way they bridge the story between, I guess, the first season and the second season. And it does kind of remind me a little bit of what they did with Sailor Moon Crystal, where sort of like the Scouts and the Four Kings were like romantically involved before everything started falling apart. You know, at first I wasn't really into it, but you know, it's 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 fine actually. I don't it, I don't think it really takes too much away. At the same point, I don't think it adds much either. So in the end, you know, go with it, have fun. So I am going to let the credits roll and let all of you enjoy it, and I'm going to mute my microphone. So let me say goodbye for this video, and I will see you all when we go through the next Sailor Scout story. See you then.